Okay, boys, today's story is as follows. There was once upon a time. Every story starts with once upon a time. There was a man by the name of Mike. This man named Mike, one day he's looking and he owns a, a cup business. He sells, you know, plastic cups. You know that they sell in the stores, plastic cups, packs of like a hundred. And he says to himself, hmm, I need to make more money. But what way will I make more money? Hmm. So he starts thinking to himself and he says, oh my gosh. I, oh my Hashem, I have the best idea. And he says, on each bag, I have ridden 100 cups. That means how many cups do I put on? 100 cups. He says, instead of putting 100 cups on, let me put 99. This way, I will be saving money. I won't have to give them 100 cups and I'll make more money that way. So, this guy, Mike, he starts telling all the people that are making the packages of the cups to put 99 cups instead of 100. But do you think, boys, he changed the name on the cup bag to 99 cups? No. Nope. It still said 100 cups. Okay, I can't wait. A week later, he looks at his documents and his papers and it says, Oh, wow. Looks like I made more money this week. So he decides, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it the next week. But now, I'm going to change it to 98 cups. And on each bag, he starts putting 98. Week by week by week, he starts seeing, wow, oh my gosh, I'm making so much money. And he starts going from 99 to 98 to 97 to 96 to eventually 95 cups. Let me ask you a question. Do you think anybody actually counts those cups in the bag? No. For the most part, no one's sitting down one cup, two cups. They only gave me 95. No one really counts the cups inside the bag. So he knew he could get away with it. Okay, a few years went by and Mike was already doing this for so long, day in, day out, and he was realizing how much money he's making. And he, already, he stopped at 95 cups. He didn't want to make it too, you know, too tricky. And after a few years, he started getting closer to Torah Mitzvah. He started realizing there's a Hashem in the world. There's someone who created the world. And he starts learning more and more Torah. He starts keeping Shabbat. He starts putting tefillin. He starts wearing talit. And one day it hits him like a pound of brick. Oh my gosh! <gasps> There's something called emet. Emet means truth. What I'm doing is not emet. It's not truth. He didn't know what to do. For years, I'm cheating so many people. I can't right now give back money to every single person in the world that for the past few years that all comes for me. What am I gonna do from all the people that all comes for me and I sold them five cups left? Because remember boys, at this point, Mike is selling 95 cups in each bag that really says 100 cups on it. He didn't know what to do. He went over to his rabbi and his rabbi said, Mike, how are you doing? How's everything? Mike told him the whole story. Rabbi, I can't believe it. A few years ago, I wasn't religious, and I didn't know Torah. Mike, take a deep breath. It's okay. <sighs> Rabbi, what do I do? For the past few years, I've been giving people less cups than what they paid for. They paid for a hundred cups, and I only gave them ninety-five. The rabbi looks at him. He says, "Mike, it would probably be close to impossible to go to every single person that bought cups from you and tell them, listen." I owe you more money. You can't just go, you don't know who really bought cups from you. You sold it in so many stores around the US, around the United States. You don't know, but you could do one thing. He said, what rabbi, what, what can I possibly do to do teshuvah from this? The rabbi tells him, Mike, instead of putting a hundred cups in each bag right now, I suggest to pay back all the people. What you do is instead of putting a hundred, you put 102 cups into each bag. Two cups extra. This way, over the years, you'll have paid back all of your customers, all the people that usually buy cups from you. They'll get extra each and every time. Mike was thrilled. Yes, Rabbi, finally you gave me a good advice. Okay. Mike, from then on, started putting 102 cups into each bag. A few weeks passed by, and suddenly there's big news. Big news! There was a newspaper article that went to old cup companies and they said, we're gonna go and check to see if really the people that write 100 cups on each bag, if they're really lying or not. Are they putting 100 cups or are they really putting less? So what did they do? They checked 
every single company started to count one, two, three, four, five, six. And they looked at all these companies and they put it in the newspapers. They made it big headline news. This company, they only put 90. This company, they only put 95. This company, they only put 98. Even though you paid for 100 cups. And they wrote on the bottom article, everybody you need to shop at only this one cup place called Mike's Cups. Because not only do they give you 100 cups, and they're, I meant they're truthful, but they give you 102 cups. They give extra. Mike was so happy he listened to that advice of his rabbi. And boys, when you see from here, that whenever you tell the truth, and especially like Mike in the story, you're always guaranteed to be successful just like Mike. But the, pe the best part was that Mike had, had made a huge Kiddush Hashem. He made a Kiddush Shem Shammai. Even if it seems that no one notices, Hashem sees everything. Even though you, you think, no, who actually counts the cups? Hashem sees everything. And you will pay back everybody for every good mitzvah, every good deed that they did.